look at the subscription fees we are talking about revenue models and we have a, a bunch of revenue models that we want to discuss in this chapter we have sales transaction fees subscription fees advertising fees affiliate fees licensing fees and other revenue sources so i'm explaining each with the appropriate e-commerce example okay so what is subscription fees customers pay a fixed amount usually monthly to get some type of a service i actually explained that using the godiva example that they were asking you to register with them subscribe with them become their members so that they offer you lower rates in other items but then there is always a subscription fee involved not always but most of the time and if the fee is higher that means you're getting a lot of value as well but that means that this is also their revenue model subscription fees is the customer pay a fixed amount usually monthly to get some type of a service an example would be the access fee for AOL that's America online Thus, AOL's primary revenue model is subscription, fixed monthly payments. Okay, let me show this to you. Okay, take a look at the AOL. Okay, just take a look at the AOL website and they have this page here, sign in and join. Okay, and if I get a free username erase hard drive drop now or sign in with one of the following so if i sign in using my google account and i have the this is how i start signing in okay view your email address well i'm not really interested i was just trying to demonstrate what happens is when i sign up view your email address i sign up what happens is that they start sending me offers and they start encouraging me to buy one of their offers and each offer is neatly lined with a subscription fee the offer is very lucrative but it comes with a fee and in grabbing the offer it's like you know they offer a bouquet of of offers and there is something for everybody first they would present me with a wizard that tries to learn more about me based on the questions they ask me they try to understand my web browsing habits they try to understand that it's all happening oh seriously it's happening they they just try to observe the behavior online behavior of a potential customer and then they try to give offers they try to customize offers accordingly so that the person cannot resist it and then they buy if the person wants the person subscribes they pay monthly and then there they receive the the company AOL would receive a monthly subscription fee imagine if they have millions of subscribers imagine the revenue they are generating of this kind of business model another business model is the revenue of the advertising fees advertising fees companies charge others the following for following them to a place on a banner on their sites let me show this to you in the local newspaper we have uh, the national dot ae okay that's a local news newspaper and if you go to the website you would see a different advertiser today okay okay here we are at the newspaper page and I can see this already it's time to get off the couch and this is tv.ae they're trying to advertise for these people and if I click here I am taken to this website okay and what happens is if I buy anything it's a TV subscription website if I buy anything from here okay for example a plan for every budget seven ninety nine dollars a month and if I buy anything from here the national dot AE will get a percentage of the sales check this out they're advertising here as a banner they're advertising here on the right side of the column where else are they advertising oh my god it continues here as well okay and the more advertisement they cover 
the more percentage of the sales they would get we would cover that later okay and in my wix.com i have these empty panels available here for advertisement i will definitely definitely advertise for example let me tell you a very good example of the people that i want to advertise for i'm not going to advertise uh crystal's cakes she's my competitor nowhere i am going to advertise people who sell online baking supplies okay and for example these people kitchencrafts.com and they are selling baking supplies here i'm just going to look at any kind of baking stuff mixing and prep bowls they have these available and these can be used for baking okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to contact kitchen crafts and i'm going to tell them that i have a business uh baking business and i want and i also have classes okay i hold classes check this out this is very common all latest websites or latest electronic commerce business practices include some kind of uh, an interface exposure to the user that asks for their name and email address okay this is what this one of the first things every electronic commerce business wants from you they want your email address they want your name and they want to know as much as they can about you so that they can customize the page according to your preferences this is called big data and business intelligence i'm going to talk about it in my upcoming chapters but this is how it is happening you cannot just have one static page displayed that you know just gives very small regular information it has to be interactive this is one of the interaction features of the website i'm going to close that interface and i really like what they're selling so what i'm going to do is i am going to contact kitchen crafts people and i'm going to tell them that i want to advertise for them and what they will do is uh, they will give me a picture of the advertisement which i would display here for a for an agreed duration of time and if any customer clicks on that ad on either side of the page anywhere they click the ad what they would do is they would be taken to the kitchen crafts play, play page and if the person buys something for example buys easy full food chopper okay notice this is a very nice sophisticated shopping cart program i really like it it's very hip and popular okay is notice that it's all easy if i buy this one okay if i buy easy pull food chopper for 30 dollars i find cupcake batter dispenser i'm like oh my god i want this i want this as well so as soon as i check out i would definitely want to come back here okay and they're all already showing it to me so we have easy pull food chopper and as soon as i make a purchase my website here i would definitely get a percentage of the sales for example 0 0.5 0 0.2 percentage if uh, somebody may if they made 30 dollars of my website because the customer was directed from my website to theirs i would get about one dollar two dollars per uh, per clicking it's not a lot i'm telling you it's not a lot but if you have uh, more businesses like kitchencrafts.com you know on your website you will definitely make a lot of money per month because the uh, volume of online users is has been increasing dramatically over the years so what's next we have advertising fees then you have affiliate fees affiliate fees is companies receive commissions for referring customers to other websites a good program is available at amazon.com okay what happens is the affiliate fees is uh, for example um, amazon.com says let me let me show you how it looks like so I'm at the Amazon.com and I am in the food and beverage beverage section. So what they're doing is they're selling a lot of products here, and uh, in voluntarily they are doing an affiliate marketing for all of these brands here. 
okay so they are branding they are actually refer they are offering the brand names of special k kellogg cereal and Peria water again kellogg's again kellogg's again so these are the two things that they are aggressively marketing for this is known as affiliate marketing which means that these people the kellogg's people they are have partnered with amazon.com in such a way that amazon.com is getting a lot of products from them they sell and they're able to sell it at their website and they're also able to refer to other products of kellogg's it's kind of similar to um, advertising but in advertising you don't have any kind of relationship with that business affiliate marketing you do have a, some kind of relationship okay we're going to discuss that in detail uh, in the upcoming case case studies as well okay the other one that i have here is uh, licensing okay revenue model licensing fee licensing fees is another revenue source is licensing fees example data direct technologies licensing fees can be accessed as an annual fee or a per usage fee well you can guess this very easily microsoft receives fees from each workstation that uses windows nt for example okay why do you think these companies windows and apple they're making a lot of money because of the licensing fees if you buy any if you purchase any software whether it is online or whether it is you know offline to the real store you have to pay for the licensing fee it comes with a key code remember if you buy word program if you buy microsoft office and it comes with a different bundles so in order to install it in your machine you need to provide the machine with the key the key actually confirms that you have paid for this uh, software the other ways of confirmation as well but licensing means that you purchase some kind of uh, usage rights from the company and they're giving you those rights to use their software and then you have to pay them at uh, you know a particular price so that's one of the ways that they are making money other model sources include some companies allow people to play games for a fee or to watch sports competition in real time for a fee for example if i have this website here national.ae what they would do is at sometimes when there is a football match going on very famous series of football matches they would they would put it up here with the banner if it is the banner section of the website and they would say that there's this match going on if you want to watch this match live just enter uh, pay with your credit card and you should be able to watch the entire match okay and many other things so that is uh, one of uh, the few ways of making money using your own website all right with this i'm going to end my a video on revenue model sources and up next is value proposition all right stay tuned